Hello YouTube, this is Ara Tutorials and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a 3D to 2D text transition like in the old intro that I used to have. Now you can see that the text flies in and it's at first it, three, it, it is 3D and then once it flies in it, um, it turns to a 2D text and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today how to do. Um, you first of all you will need to go into Cinema 4D and create this text right here that flies into the view like so. Um, you can learn how to do that in my previous tutorial so if you don't know how to create this kind of text and if I render this this is what it's gonna look like rendered but if you don't know how to do this text uh, you need to watch the previous tutorial that I have um, to learn how to do this but before you go into uh, Photoshop before you go into work in Photoshop you will need to do a few things in Cinema 4D first of all you will need to render a video of the, the actual uh, text going in so you'll need to uh, render this like so it looks like that um, then you will need to render a background so it's just one picture of a background. So uh, you know how to make how to render a video. If you don't, go watch my beginner's guide. It's uh, basic stuff. You should know how to do that. But for this picture, uh, you you will need to do some specific things to render it. So I'll show you what to do. So go into Cinema 4D. Go to Edit Render Settings. Go to Output. Uh, with 1280 height 720 uh, frame range make sure it's set to current frame so you will render the actual frame that it is in the project so currently it's frame 82 it's gonna render frame 82 and then uh, uh, go to save tab and here you wanna name it and you know save it to the desktop whatever and make sure you select the format to PNG so go down PNG then uh, make sure you select the alpha channel alright um, so yeah everything else such as the background you will learn how to do in the previous tutorial that I have created so um, now you wanna render it so just hit render and uh, what you should have is this right here just the text no background just transparent background so we can work in Photoshop it's gonna be much easier alright now uh, let's open up Photoshop actually we should have a yeah I should have a shortcut now that's gonna take a while because um, haven't opened this program in a while. Uh, appears to be defective. Uh, use anyway. Whatever. My monit it says my monitor is defective. I don't care. I'll fix it later. Okay, so let's drag this into Photoshop, this picture. okay it's gonna take a second to uh, it's not responding why why are you not responding just if it's not responding usually Photoshop it's uh, just loading you have to let it load okay so we have this text in here now we need to um, get the text tool and I actually haven't practiced doing this so Forgive me if I make some mistakes, but I will learn myself along the way. Anyways, uh, get text tool and select the, uh, the font to uh, the same font that your text here is. Uh, in, this, in this case, it's perfect dark. So, where is it? P 
key. Perfect dark right there. Okay, now let's uh, let's click on the screen and let's type in G. And actually, let's change the let's change the color right here to black. Okay, and let's hit G and let's drag it over the G in the uh, the picture. And then let's uh, let's size the G to the oh actually it looks kind of different never mind uh, I have to hold caps lock I mean I have to hold shift and hit G in this case so yeah make sure it's the same uh, the same way you typed it in in Cinema 4D now let's resize it to exactly the same size of the G in the video Okay, and make sure you don't select a a complicated font like I have here because it's not gonna line up really well. Not everything's gonna line up that good. Okay, now let's let's uh, duplicate this layer, the new text that we created. So right click on the text layer and hit duplicate layer and just save it as G copy whatever click OK and let's drag it over to the R and then let's select the text tool and click on the letter G and erase it and select R or hit R okay now let's select the drag tool and let's drag it over using my keyboard right now to kind of finally uh, drag it around the screen. Now let's do the same thing. Uh, duplicate R. You can just drag it over to create new layer button. Just drag the layer to create new layer button and it duplicates. And you can drag it over to A and then again click on it with the text tool. and. Uh, hit A. Okay, now let's drag it to exactly same the same position as it is in the picture and uh, I'll actually stop the video here. You know what I mean, like you just keep on doing the same thing over and over again. So I'll pause and I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, so I got all of the text done right now. Uh, now I all I have to do is uh, delete the um, delete the actual background picture that I originally rendered in Cinema 4D so delete the actual uh, uh, 3D text so just select the 3D text layer and click delete okay so now this is basically what we have um, I'm just gonna fix the E quickly kind of drag it up a little bit so it doesn't look weird yeah, just make some minor fixes so it doesn't look choppy. I'm gonna select the A and also fix that up a little bit. I'm gonna put it up a little bit. Uh, everything else looks fine. No, actually the G is a little bit too low. Alright, there we go. So, we just want it to look nice. Okay, so we're done with the text. Now all you have to do is go to File uh, save as, select desktop, then file name, uh, let's name it 2D text, whatever, tutorial, dot, um, and then select the format. I'm gonna use PNG and make sure you use PNG because you want the, to have the transparent background and hit save okay and let's uh, close this okay now we can go into Sony Vegas so let's grab our we can delete the, the actual picture the, the 3d text picture we don't need it anymore we only need the 2d text picture 
So let's grab our 2D text picture and uh, background picture and the video. Let's select all of them and drag them into SUNY Vegas. Actually, I have them already here, but I'm going to delete them quickly. Okay, uh, so the reason why you render the background picture is because the video ends at some point, so um, once you have this transition, you don't want the 3D text to be here, so you, instead you have the background, and if we drag this text over the background, we have this text right here. Actually, I think I saved it with the 3D text. Or no, no, I did not. I don't know why it has these strange edges around it. Let's see in best quality. Uh, why does it have that? Oh, it's kind of strange. Ah, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, and just make sure you don't save it with along with the three D text in uh, in Photoshop. All right, so now, um, so yeah, we have this background and we have this. Uh, black text which is a 2d text so now we want to make the transition um, and keep in mind I'm improvising I didn't practice doing this so uh, give me a moment to think um, what we can do is we can have a transition we can have the um, the 3D video transition into the 2D text in which case we will have to place the background the gradient background picture below the actual video so make sure it looks like this the background picture is down here the video is here and the text is right here now let's select the transit um, let's go to the transition tab right here click on it and select uh, dissolve why does it not show okay here and uh, let's see fade through black I don't know about that fade through transparent so find the transition fade through transparent and drag it over our uh, gradient video the, the actual video and drag it onto the edge of the end of the video alright um, now you can customize how fast it goes by dragging it right here alright um, now let's let's drag our 2d text a little bit further into the video just like a second further into the video and let's select uh, fade through transparent also and drag it onto the edge of the um, of the 2d gradient text okay let's close this and let's customize this also make it just a little bit shorter and if we play this uh, it goes through uh, black why does it do that? Uh, let's drag this just a little bit farther into the video. Uh, even more, even farther. Let's see that. Yeah, it goes through black. What if we click on the transition properties right here, which is the X, and see color bleed color morph speed uh, fade color through oh I know what to do um, okay uh, let's also drag our gradient background right here so that it's um, uh, it's kinda into the video I think I know why it's going through black so as you can see now, it's not going through black. 
The reason it was going through black is because if we move this right here, then we don't have any kind of background and we just have a black background. But if we move this background in here, then we have a, a gradient background. So now we have this nice transition, really smooth transition here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now if we play this, this is how it goes. I'm gonna turn it down to draft quality so that it doesn't lag. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Uh, let's just make the uh, transition time a little bit longer. I don't like that it's so short. So just drag it out a little bit more and drag this out also a little bit more. And let's play this. Um, I think the, the uh, 3D text disappears a little bit too soon before the 2D text appears. So we're gonna have to drag that uh, fade on the 2D text a little bit down. And now if we see, if we take a look, still kind of too soon. So let's just drag it back a little bit more so that it's already, once this goes transparent, once the 3D text goes transparent, the 2D text is already ready to take its place. And let's drag the dissolve on the 3D text a little bit back too. Okay, that looks perfect. And if we play this, there we have a nice transition. Uh, now all we have to do is go to File, Render As, and um, you know you name it whatever text name it whatever you like change the folder destination to whatever you like also so go to browse desktop text save okay and and you select the video format I usually use Windows media video right here um, yeah that's what I usually use and I use the 8 M Mbps HD video right here so uh, then you just hit render and it renders the video so um, I hope you guys found this useful I hope you enjoyed it um, I enjoyed it also. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. You, ha you guys have been a great support lately. Uh, I would like to ask you to please keep it up. Keep up the support. Keep commenting, liking, and I'll keep making great videos. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.